Here we are, 1652 Sourwood. First detail confirmed. It is definitely a two car garage with some bonus storage space beyond where the cars would go. And in the same garage, there's a couple of steps up to the laundry area. So the laundry area is in the garage as well. In my client's unit, it is in the unit right off the kitchen. So this one's a little different configuration. Now we are going inside. Entranceway is tile floors, actually very nice tile. And you've seen the outside, just taking the key back. Now that we're in. Going upstairs has laminate flooring here that meets tile. So on a rental, that's really nice feature. Hard surfaces to damage. We have a basic kitchen, builder white tiles, honey maple cabinets, white appliances, and let's see if I can get some more lights on. Has a cute porch. These keep locked, so I won't open that. Anyway, nice little porch. Stairs upstairs, but there's still more to see here. So family room, kitchen, good sized dining area, can lights above. And in this particular model, we have a bed and bath on this level, which certainly isn't as bad as having to be two stores below, two stories below. So walk-in closet. Good size walk-in closet for a secondary bedroom. And somebody named Kay lives here. Same laminate flooring, tile downstairs, little water damage on the light pine there. Not bad for the rental though. We can polish that up some. Bathtub looks to be in fine condition, could use a little cleaning. So all in all, so far this level I think is very appealing to tenants. And then upstairs, more laminate flooring, in good shape. Paint is a little, you can tell they have young kids, there's kind of a hand dragging across the wall streak there. Missing a finish cover here for this wood floor, which trouble with that if it's no longer round is it may be tough to match. Little desk cubby there. Master bedroom. Good size master. Has a queen size bed with a big headboard. It's not king, but there's certainly plenty of wall space left for that to be king, so that's no detriment to a tenant. Big size dresser there. Master bath, builder standard. Little bits of water damage there, which can be uh, reglazed. We do a light version of that in our flips. Mirrors, basic light fixture. Fiberglass surround in the tub. It's just fiberglass, but it's in shape. Bathtub could use a little cleaning. Other than that, not bad. Walk-in closet here for him and her. So, could be bigger, but for a place the size, not bad. Commode room by itself. Tile floor here. Laminate there. And even a little linen closet there, still in the master. Now here's the other upstairs bedroom. 
have bunk beds in here. It's a good size space loaded with furniture, so that shrinks it a little bit, but lots of floor space. I would call it a 10 by 12 room would be my guess. Closet there and a nice benefit, a full bath off of the kids room, another fiberglass surround. Light fixtures, basic cabinet, less water staining here. Window. So, that's the inside. Cute room. Configuration is nice for a rental. All three bedrooms aren't upstairs. The laundry isn't inside. Little wall damage there. 